Got it? I got a heart and I got balls to fight. You know, I love this sport. I don't feel bad for my opponents in the ring. If I say I'm gonna fucking knock your ass out, I'm gonna knock your ass out. Brandon has uh, had that problem where, you know, the last two or three pounds are always the hardest for him to lose. The only thing I ate was that Sunday on the plane to New York. I didn't eat nothing till Friday night. That was the way I had to make 135, and it was just horrible. Are you 140 pounds or 135? I'm gonna be 140 pounds. Uh, I think after this fight, I'm going to 140. Cause you look like a 140 pounder right now to me, trying to make 135 pounds. Now I'm gonna be 140 after this. Cutting weight and everything. Are you are you ready to go 12? I'm ready to go 20. I'm, I, come on, man. I'm I my tremendous. I'm in the best shape of my life right now. Oh yeah. We should pack up here. He's in with a guy who likes to mix it up. Friday morning, the day of the win, his body was just so drained that he wouldn't be able to lose any weight. This time it was just impossible. We found a really warm spot where we tried to sweat oven and Brandon did maybe like half an hour to 45 minutes of shadow boxing. I don't know why my body wasn't cooperating with me. It was just not following what I usually do. It just, I don't know what it was. I was really pissed about that. I couldn't let it get me down too much because I still had a fight Saturday. This fight was supposed to be the least competitive matchup on the undercard, but given Rios' trouble making weight, could it turn out to be the best? Now Rios begins to get going early, and I wondered if his gas tank would continue to top up the way it has so far, and lo and behold, heck of a fight. I think we're looking at beginning signs that he might be running out of gas. I felt good during the fight, but you know, you could tell that it wasn't myself 100%. Within the sixth, I think seventh, eighth round, I felt I had him stunned after the round. I was telling Robert too, you know, that round is mine, I got him, I got him. Murray's starting to take more and more punishment, if that's imaginable at this point. But when I seen that ninth round and his legs are not giving up on him, that's when I told him, let's go finish this guy up, let's win by knockout. Punches just keep coming from Brandon Rios. Earl Brown's got to take a very close look here. Murray's taking a lot of shots to the head in this fight. A good referee, and he's going to stop. That's a really good stop. Excellent, just excellent. And what a performance by Brandon Rios. After the fight, I was mad, depressed. I was like, fuck, I lost my title on the scale. Nobody kicked my ass to take that title. I worked so hard to get it, and I lost it. It sucks. I'm young at the sport, and it's something I'm learning from. I don't want to go back to it again, so I'm learning from my mistakes. Something that we've we've gone through before uh, in his fights, where the two days before the, the fight, he's to got two to three pounds, and uh, the day of the one, we'll lose it. Uh, this time, it was just impossible. Ocupes it, Brandon. I want to fight the best and show them that I'm a warrior. <laughs>